tears, we all shed them. But why do humans cry? No other creature on Earth produces emotional tears the way we do. Biologically, tears begin in the lacrimal glands above your eyes. They lubricate, protect, and flush out irritants. But emotional crying goes far beyond biology. It's one of the strangest, most human behaviors. Scientists think tears started as a social signal. In our evolutionary past, crying silently may have been a way to show vulnerability without attracting predators. Unlike screaming, tears communicate distress quietly, inviting help instead of danger. Crying also triggers empathy. When you see tears, your brain's mirror neurons light up, making you feel the other person's pain. It's like an unspoken language. I'm overwhelmed. Please comfort me. That's why tears often succeed where words fail. But not all tears are sad. We cry from joy, frustration, even awe. These emotional peaks overload our nervous system. Tears act like a reset switch, reducing stress hormones and releasing oxytocin, the bonding chemical. That's why you feel calmer after a good cry. Interestingly, culture shapes when and how we cry. Some societies see it as strength, others as weakness. Yet across the globe, people cry at weddings, funerals, reunions, and heartbreaks, moments that define the human experience. So why do humans cry? Because tears are more than salt water. They're a signal, a stress relief, and a reminder that being human means feeling deeply. Would you say crying makes us weaker or more human? Comment human tears below.